What's up YouTube? In this video, I just wanted to go over how I made my son's rock wall. Wanted to go over some of the steps that I took in making this. I used the cheapest plywood I could find, which was only $10 a sheet. I used two sheets of plywood and I had them cut it for me at Home Depot. Two feet by four feet. And here you see me stacking the sheets on top of themselves so that I can drill through all three or four sheets at one time. I just kind of put random holes throughout it. Here you see me sanding up the edges because there were quite a bit of splinters and then I went ahead and primered it. Here I learned it was much easier to just get some can primer where I can just pour it on the boards and spread it around with a roller and brush it on rather than painting it which I think might have saved time and money. Now I also used a textured spray paint to make it look more like a rock and to give it that textured feel. Here's my 3D printer that I used which is a Creality Ender 3 and this is a hold that I had actually designed myself using Fusion 360 and I have uploaded all of the holes that I made which I will link below. I uploaded them into Thingiverse. Here are all the holds that I had printed. Some of them are my design, some of them I found on Thingiverse. I'll also link those below. Now here you see me just priming the holds and then putting that same textured spray paint on them. So once you have all the holes drilled through, you'll just take the little star nuts, hammer them into the back of the plywood. These I found on Amazon, I will also link those below. The star nuts and the bolts that fit them. So you just hammer it into the back, that way the bolts can go through the front. The whole goal of this project was to make it as cheap as possible and as easy as possible for me to take it down. If we end up moving, I can just take down, you know, just small sheets of plywood rather than full sheets. Keep all the holds on the sheets and then it will be easy for me to rebuild it in a new location. And then I can always add on to it in his bedroom. So here you see me testing the strength of the 3D print. I actually tested them out with my own body weight and I am 200 pounds and they held me just fine and you might also think that the plywood is probably too cheap but that also held up just fine. Like I said I'm 200 pounds and this wall is just for my kids. Here you see me building the frame. The only reason I built a frame is so that I have something to attach the plywood to the studs in the room and so that the bolts that go through the holds don't protrude into the drywall. So now here you see me building the frame up, like I said that's just to give some space between the sheet of plywood and the drywall when I put the holes in, since the bolts protrude out the back of the plywood. And then I just screwed the plywood directly to the frame that I had built. If I could go back and start this project over again, I would probably would have used 2x6s rather than 2x4s just so I have a little more spacing since the studs are only so big in the walls. And I also probably would have used a better plywood, not because this plywood wasn't strong enough, but because sometimes when I had put the bolts into the star nuts, I accidentally would, without realizing it was cross-threaded, I would rip the star nut out the back. So then I had to take the whole sheet of plywood off to be able to fix it, to hammer the star nut back in. The goal was to try to build the entire thing out of 3D printed holds, but it, it just takes way too long to print all those pieces. So maybe over time I'll replace all the ones I purchased with ones that I made, 
and I can always add on to the ceiling and once he gets better at it I'll start adding inclines and holds to the ceiling but for now it works out perfectly